Understanding Petition for Review, a Guide to Legal English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of legal English, the phrase, petition for review. It's a term you might encounter in legal documents, news, or discussions about court cases. We'll explore what it means, where it's used, and how to understand it in context. Whether you're learning English or just curious about legal terminology, this video is for you. A petition for review is a formal request submitted to a higher court asking for a review of a decision made by a lower court. The key aspects to remember here are formal request. It's an official document that follows specific rules and formats. Higher court. This refers to a court with higher authority, like an appellate court or the Supreme Court. Review of a decision. The petitioner is asking the higher court to examine and potentially overturn or modify the lower court's decision. This term is commonly used in legal contexts, especially in cases where a party believes there has been a mistake or oversight in the judgment of their case. Filing a petition for review is a crucial step in the appeals process for several reasons. Seeking justice. If someone believes the law was incorrectly applied or their rights were not adequately considered, this petition allows them to seek a correction. Legal precedent. The outcome can set a precedent, affecting future cases with similar issues. Error correction. It helps ensure that legal errors are corrected, contributing to the fairness and integrity of the legal system. Understanding the motivation behind filing such a petition helps non-native speakers grasp the seriousness and significance of this legal action. Filing a petition for review involves several steps, which can vary by jurisdiction but generally include 1. Preparing the petition Drafting the document according to legal standards often requiring legal expertise. 2. Submitting the petition. The petition must be filed with the appropriate court, typically within a specific time frame after the original decision. 3. Awaiting a response. The higher court will decide whether to review the case. Not all petitions are granted. This process highlights the structured nature of legal proceedings and the importance of adhering to procedural rules. Thank you for watching our video on Petition for Review. We hope this has clarified a complex legal term and made it more accessible to English language learners. Legal English can be challenging, but understanding these terms brings you one step closer to mastering the language. Stay curious, keep learning, and see you in our next video.